So what's the deal with the, the witch trials and why did Christians kill witches and in particular why did the Puritans kill witches? So, I'm Dan Stevens, I'm the youth pastor at Parkside Church in Camas, Washington and this is my friend, mentor and, and also my boss, Pastor Darrell. Uh, and because he's the better historian than I am, he's going to help answer this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm better, Dan, I've just been at it a little longer. Uh, well, why did they do that? That's a good question, and the first thing I'd like to instill in our conversation is the fact that uh, a rule of thumb when you're talking about historical events is you cannot judge historical figures by contemporary standards. And we'll explain that a little more as we, as we go along. Okay. So, the question is about why did Christians kill witches, but were Christians the only people that were, were killing witches during the, the witch trials? No. Uh, worldwide. Uh, everyone, uh, it, it was the way things were in those days. Uh, we have, science has come a long way since then. It was the only way they had to explain anomalies and things in people that they saw that were strange. Uh, they didn't have the psychiatry and those things that we have today. So worldwide from Roman times, uh, witches were hunted and killed by various uh, and sundry means. So it wasn't just Christians, it was Everybody. Everybody. Okay. So, what, they were killing them because they weren't normal? Like, what, what was the, the reasoning? As government always does, that they were killing them for the greater good. Because they were afraid a witch left alive would do damage to society. Okay. And so the, the their legal reasoning was that this person w was more damaging to have alive than they were. Exactly, because they might do things like eat your baby or uh, put a hex on your house and, and you would suffer physical harm, those sorts of things. And that was all within the science of the time that, exactly. that even though now we think that's all silliness. Exactly, and uh, you mentioned that now we think that's silliness and we can be assured that uh, if we're society is still around a hundred years from now, they will look back at our science and think how silly we are. Uh, I'll give you a simple example. When I was in school, uh, in grammar school, uh, science knew and our teachers taught us without a doubt that the atom was the smallest particle in the universe. Mm -hmm. Well, now we laugh at that. How silly. Because but there's the, stuff smaller than that. Sure. But at the time, that was cutting edge science. So science is always changing, and as time goes on, as I say, people will look back at us and some of the things we do and just shake their heads and say, what was wrong with those folks? Okay. So how, how many witches do you think were killed? And it, when, we're, when we're asking the question, why did Christians kill witches, how many, how many witches did Christians kill? Christians around the world, I don't know. But in the colonies, we have uh, two figures. You know, one of them is right, and they're both so close that it really doesn't matter. Uh, one is 20, and the other is 22. Okay. And by the way, they were all hanged. There was never a single witch burned uh, in the or United drowned. States. Or drowned. They were hanged. The reason they were hanged is because British law governed the colonies, and British law dictated that hanging was the only... Uh, capital punishment allowed. Okay, so where do we get the stories about uh, witches being told to to float with a rock attached to them or drown? Well, that that's called trial by ordeal, and uh, that goes back as far as history goes back. Uh, but it did not happen in the colonies. It happened in Europe and around the world and other places. Okay. In so, the colonies, I mean, it still wasn't all peachy keen, uh, because if you if you are accused and convicted of, a wit, as, of being a witch, you may escape the capital punishment, but then they had the stocks, you've seen that, they could do that. They had what they called the dunking stool, uh, similar to being waterboarded, type of thing. They had unpleasant things they did to you, but again, not to excuse their behavior, but to explain it, they lived in unpleasant times. Okay. So, since, since we're both Christians, we're both pastors, and we're, we're answering this from a Christian perspective, how do we know that that's not clouding our 
well, your answer to to that question. Because I speaking uh, for you and me, and I think I can. I think we're intellectually honest enough uh, to do honest research. Now, for instance, uh, if we want to talk about witches, I have a couple of books here that I use that are on my library shelf. These will be linked on the website, so you can you can look them up on Amazon if you want. And uh, this this is a very good one: Witch Hunts in the Western World. Uh, Brian Pavlak, who I believe is a Christian, but he's also uh, the chair of the history department at King's College in Pennsylvania. So you might say, okay, well, there's a Christian. But here's another book that's on my shelf that I refer to often to keep check on our biases because we are all biased and we all are uh, informed by what we think we know. And this book is titled Holy Horrors. And it's written by uh, a fellow by the name of James Hout. And he is uh, writing it from a position of very anti-Christian. And if you want to get an idea where this guy is coming from, one of the awards he has won um, is the Hugh Hefner First Amendment Award for his work. So if you know Hugh Hefner, uh, he's not exactly a, a, a Christian figure. figure. <laughs> exactly. Uh, by the way, Mr. Huck gives the lesser number of 20, and uh, Pavlak says 22 were hanged. Oh, so even the guy who's Christian antagonistic has given us a, a lower... Yes. number okay all right so if you're a student at Parkside Church uh, continue to ask me questions share this video with your friends on Facebook or on YouTube ask your parents some questions if uh, you're not one of my students at, at Parkside ask your parents ask your youth pastor ask your senior pastor if you don't have one share the video have a conversation around Christianity around the Bible and hopefully we'll see you again all right thanks Dad.